Hello and welcome to Kerry Systems Doors.net Overview. The aim of the video is to give you a quick and easy guide to the features available in Doors.net. Doors.net is Kerry's newest access control software application designed to manage Kerry Systems hardware. It was designed natively in Microsoft's .NET platform and utilizes their SQL database engine. With all instructions and communications with the database done through stored procedures, making response lightning quick. As you will see from this video, Doors.net is extremely easy to learn and operate, yet powerful enough to meet most applications. In addition to sophisticated access control functionality, Doors.net allows multiple operators to manage and monitor an unlimited number of sites concurrently, as well as providing integrated video, alarm reporting and live events. Its built-in Reflections Express and optional Reflections video software provides video integration that you've always wanted with a host of features that customers can really use. Let's begin from the login. As you can see, the login screen has two tick boxes, Use Default Server and Use Default Language. Use Default Server does not need to be changed if you have installed the database on the local machine. Use Default Language should be checked to make sure it is set to your region. Username and password are default admin and admin. As you can see, Doors.net has a Microsoft feel about it, utilizing the same toolbar format commonly associated with programs like Word, Excel, and Outlook. Let's have a look at the cardholders. This is where you can add, edit, and remove cardholder records. You'll notice several tabs along the top of the record, the first being General, where you can assign cardholders plus PIN numbers if you're using keypads. As you can see from the format list, Doors.net supports three card formats. Standard Kerry MS, Industry Standard Wigand, and Kerry's new NXT format. Access Rights allows you to simply assign an access group to the selected cardholder. Advanced this is where you can change the cardholder's advanced settings. Contact individual cardholder specific contact information can be added here, including two emergency contacts. Most of the information entered here can be used as search criteria within the comprehensive Doors.net reports. Company. Work-related contact information. Photo ID. You're able to attach a photo to the cardholder using this tab. User groups, where you can simply assign a group to each user, which can be used as part of local linkage routines. Custom. Let's you create custom fields that are specific to individual cardholders, such as card registration, membership numbers, or physical attributes. Notes. This is an open field where you can add up to 8,000 characters of information to each cardholder. Access groups. Here you'll find an easy and intuitive means of creating cardholder access groups. On the right you'll notice the readers that are available in the system, and directly below is the available time schedules. Time schedules. This page allows you to easily set up and configure time schedules, which are used in access groups or to automatically unlock doors at certain times. They can also be used as triggers for local linkage routines. Holidays. Use this to specify certain days of the year that holidays take place. You can designate a holiday as one of eight types with a maximum of 32 days per type. You can decide whether or not a holiday will be active on certain time schedules. Global linkage host schedules and system calendar are covered individually on separate video tutorials.
alerts. You can set up the transaction to appear on this page as well as specifying a sound that will occur on the PC or you can configure it to require acknowledgement before the system sees it as confirmed. You can also link live video window to pop up in response to your alerts. Controller. This is where you can view a large amount of controller related information which can also be suppressed from view or added to using the field chooser. This is useful for quickly checking that all controllers are online. Control points. Simply allows you to view the status of just control points. These are general purpose relays. Trace events. Allows you to view specific events or event types. Doors. Specific information relating just to the doors on the system. For example, you can use this to quickly see the mode of the readers or whether the door is locked or unlocked. As in other windows, you can right click and remotely operate the doors. Live events. The live events grid displays real time system transactions with hardware control. For example, you can open a door from a door related event. Each event type can have a specific and customizable scheme. Monitor point. These are inputs on the system. You can see which ones are active or inactive, plus other general status details. From this window, you can right click to mask or unmask. Setup, hardware setup, then all. This is where the hardware for your security system is listed. This includes controllers, readers, inputs and outputs, including I.O. modules, cameras, and the communications gateway. Any of these elements you can highlight to give you a comprehensive settings menu for you to view or edit on the right hand side. Operators. This section is for user logins, passwords and permissions. There are also several different account types available. Permissions. You can configure the different account types to have access to certain features and settings with Endorse.net. By default, the system administrator account has full access to all menus and override commands. Connections. If multiple client accounts are concurrently connected, you can view them in this window. You can also get details such as IP address and the timestamp of when the connection was made. Diagnostics. This provides general information about the client and server PC. Reports. As you can see, we have four different report type categories available. Tools. Change password. This allows you to change the associated password of the logged on user. Backup. Creates a total backup on the application server PC. Layouts. Doors.net includes a library of layout templates. You can also customize Doors.net to suit your own preferences. Doors.net supports multiple monitors and many of the windows can be floated or docked. You can save different layouts for each user on the system and you can easily and quickly reset to the default using the reset layout button. View technical support. This allows you to simply initiate a remote technical support connection to a technical support specialist at Kerry Systems. Online help. This takes you to our comprehensive guide for Doors.net 
which is indexed for your convenience and includes a search facility. About information on your doors.net install. Photo recall. This will bring up a photo window. Photo recall is used to pop up a card holder photograph upon a card read to a designated reader. All readers can be designated as photo recall readers. Display colors. This allows you to specify color schemes for different event types that appear in live events. As with the user layouts, these colors can be saved per user account. Thank you for watching.